The world is a beautiful place for the mountains and snow in Patagonia, Argentina that gives us a beautiful scenery all the way to the amazing jungle and wildlife that the beautiful country of Costa Rica offers us. The trees that the world has gives us our life and our breath. The ocean and the snow give us water. All these things are for us to be able to live and survive in this world. We have a problem that we are creating to this world. It's a killer of our world, known as global warming. The definition of global warming given by the NASA Earth Observatory, they say, global warming is the unusual rapid increase in Earth's average surface temperature over the past century, primarily due to the greenhouse gases released by people burning fossil fuels. Global warming is raising at an uncontrollable rate that is affecting the Earth negatively, causing many natural disasters such as hurricanes and flooding. We do have hope though. There's a solution. This solution is known as carbon taxing. Carbon taxing is a solution that could help us lower our carbon emissions. The definition of carbon taxing given by Kimberly Amadeo on the balance, she says, a carbon tax is a fee that government imposes on any company that burns fossil fuels. This would also apply to people that have fossil fuel cars, which is a car that uses gas from a gas station. So, what everybody drives today and now. Here's an interview from Dr. Greg Manicu that explains the carbon tax idea. But it was really fundamental. Unless there's a price put on carbon, we're never going to be able to make the transition yeah. that we need to in time, correct? Yeah. And the only way to do that is basically with a carbon tax. Okay, now walk me through a carbon tax, which is what you're saying is the silver bullet for climate change. Well, a carbon tax would be basically a tax on any kind of activity that put carbon into the atmosphere. So when you tax something and raise the price, people are going to tend to consume less of it. In fact, that's sort of lesson number one of economics. So you're teaching economics at Harvard, and you literally wrote the book on contemporary economics, right? Well, if I'm teaching the course for many years, I might as well write the textbook to go with it. So just to be clear, you've worked with a lot of Republican heavyweights, John McCain, Mitt Romney, and you worked for George Bush when he became president. I was chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors. So how come we don't have a carbon tax already? Politicians don't always do what professors want them to do. So the basic idea is that we want to tax bad activities that have negative side effects on other people in society. So we raise the price of cigarettes by putting a tax on cigarettes. People are going to consume fewer cigarettes. Climate change involves a variety of negative side effects and costs. A carbon tax forces people to take account of those costs. I think trying to appeal to people's social responsibility is really very, very hard because people have complicated lives and they have lots of things to worry about. They don't want to have to think about climate change every time they do every decision. They can't. And every time you turn on your car, are you supposed to think, uh-oh, what am I doing to the climate? What the carbon tax does is it nudges them in the direction of doing the right thing. So let me get this straight. You're a Republican who wants more taxes. Well, one of the important things to keep in mind is that if you have a carbon tax, you can turn around and cut other taxes in response. For example, payroll taxes. This is a tax shift rather than a tax increase. So is it possible to ever pass a carbon tax now, given the current political situation? I mean, half the people in office still don't believe in climate change. Yes, we can! During the campaign, President Obama didn't want to say the word carbon tax because it pulled terribly. If we want to change the president's view of carbon taxes, we need to change the public's view of carbon taxes. Think of gay marriage. Remember, Barack Obama ran against gay marriage. I uh, am not a supporter of gay marriage. When did he switch? When the polls started switching. I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. Politicians, whether we call them our elected leaders, are really our elected followers. They do what the people want them to do. We need to preach to the American people. Once the American people are convinced, the politicians will fall in line very quickly. This is the solution to our problems. A carbon tax, this would affect the price on gas, but it would mainly affect the companies that release these gases into the atmosphere, 
which would mainly be factories. If we were to apply this taxing, it would help us go to a more sustainable power source to make the world a better place for us and our posterity. We have the solution, now let's do something about it to save our future.